Polish-Bulgarian project, May 2023. The Three Brothers and the Golden Apple. A Bulgarian folk tale. Once upon a time, there was a woman with three sons. In the garden of their house, a strange apple tree grew. Every year, the tree bore a single apple. This was not a normal apple. It was a golden apple. At night, the apple glowed and all the garden was shining. But every evening, a dragon flew by and plucked the golden apple. Here, when the apple ripened, the oldest son said to his mother, Mom, I am going to protect the apple. Give me a knife and walnuts, so I will not fall asleep. The eldest son sat under the apple tree and began to cross the walnuts. Suddenly, a strong wind blew and the trees curled all the way to the ground. A dark cloud covered the moon and the stars. A dragon came down from the cloud, grabbed the golden apple and flew away. The next year, the middle son told his mother, Mom, I will look after the apple. Give me a knife and some walnuts because I am going. However, while he was crushing the walnuts, the dragon came and stole the apple. The young man never understood what happened. In the third year, the youngest son said, Mom, this time I will keep the apple. Give me the knife. In the evening, he climbed the tree. He sat in its branches near the golden apple and started waiting. Around midnight, a loud rumbling was heard. The air trembled and the dragon drifted down to the golden apple. The youngest brother attacked, knife in hand, the monster. Such a fight began that the ground shook. The youngest son fought bravely and fiercely attacked the dragon. At last, he struck hard the dragon with the knife. The dragon flew away. The youngest son took the golden apple to his mother. At this time, the older brothers were so soundly asleep that he barely woke them up to go look for the injured dragon. The trails of the monster's boat led to a cave. The oldest brother said that he is the greatest hero, so he should have entered the cave first. The older brothers tied him with a rope and let him down into the deep cave. But when he was in the middle of the road, he got scared and started shouting for them to pull him back. The second brother went down after him, but he got scared too and asked to go back up. At last, it was the turn of the youngest brother. He said, now I will go down. His brothers tied him and began to lower him. They lowered him, lowered him, and finally, on the third day, he went down on the bottom of the cave. The young man walked a little and reached the palace of the dragon. A beautiful maiden sat in the garden of the palace. Two of them were playing with golden apples. The youngest and the prettiest maiden was playing with an ordinary apple. Girls, let me in! The young man shouted. The youngest maiden answered, Go back, young hero. If the dragon sees you, it will eat you. The dragon is very angry. 
He went to bring my a golden apple, but he come back bleeding. The boy did not listen to her. He jumped over the fence. He entered into the palace. After a while, terrible road was here. The youngest brother killed the Hala. He freed the maidens who were captive queens. He led them to the rope. He tied the first girl and shaked the rope twice. The brothers pulled the girl out. He tied the middle one and then pulled her out too. The boy said, marry me. The girl agreed, and so they both climbed to the upper ground. Then they had a wedding, and for three days they ate and drank and made merry under the branches of the apple tree. And the tree bears a golden apple every year to this day.